Hey y'all, welcome back to Goal Post Barbecue and Cooking. Remember, if it's a goal post, it's good. Today we're going to do something that I've wanted to try for a couple of months now. Uh, it's been made popular in a lot of uh, Facebook uh, smoking, uh, meat smoking groups that uh, I'm a part of. And I've seen them on a number of channels, barbecue channels as well. And that is a smoked queso. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to take these uh, really pretty standard ingredients for a queso and we're going to put them out onto the Weber Smoky Mountain right about 275 for a few hours get some good smoke in there and then we're going to take the queso dip over to a party and let folks try it i hope that you'll enjoy the video i hope that uh while you're here you'll make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get a new video every time i put them out and make sure you check out our older videos as well we're still a young channel just yet but i'm really enjoying uh, getting the opportunity to share uh, from my kitchen and my uh, backyard to your uh, to your house so uh, stick around and we're going to get started with the ingredients right now today's video is going to be pretty short i think because this is going to be a really simple process uh, this might look like a bunch of ingredients but it's really just a bunch of standards for queso so you can see we've got our uh, non uh, non brand name uh, melting uh, cheese uh, got a bar of cream cheese i'm going to use half of this block of uh, colby jack here uh, colby and monterey jack uh, those are our cheeses that we're going to have inside going to use a couple cans of rotel i like the hot with the habaneros uh, and if that is uh, too spicy for you that's totally cool you can replace that with the mild version it's got green chilies in it uh, some hot sausage onion garlic and then our spices. I'm not going to add any more salt because of two reasons. One, there's plenty of salt in these, <laughs> this cheese especially, but um, also our taco uh, spices, something I found over at Walmart. I'll provide a link in the description for this. Uh, this is Fire and Smoke Society's Texican. It's basically your standard old El Paso kind of uh, taco seasoning, but it's got a little cocoa in it, so I think that might make for an interesting taste in our uh, in our queso here so what we're going to do is i'm going to get these all prepped up and stuck here into the pan ready to go and i'll rejoin you after i get everything prepped as a note i am going to uh, cook the sausage with the onion and the garlic ahead of time i don't remember if i said that or not but that is what i'm going to do and then we're all going to just put it here into the pan and get it out over onto the smoker right around like i said 275 at uh, for a few hours and uh, it's going to be cooking over mesquite and hickory today for a nice strong smoke flavor boom that was fast so as you can see here i've got the non Velveeta cubed up here i've got the colby jack uh, cubed here and the cream cheese here are two cans of rotel and then our sausage with onions garlic and i went ahead and put the spices in there uh, ahead of time to let them wake up inside of the heat of the skillet. This guy is ready to get out onto the smoker. We're gonna, we're gonna take him out here in just a couple minutes and I'll take you along with me. Here we are now, let's get her on. Oh, what's that down there, you ask? Well, make sure you check out uh, our channel and subscribe so that you can find out exactly why this watermelon down here looks like a ham. But for now, on goes our queso. Beautiful, isn't she? A little bright, let me see if I can adjust it. There we go, looking good. All right, we're gonna have her on here for, like I said, a few hours. I'll check back later. We've had our queso on the smoker here now for about half an hour. I put another piece of hickory and a piece of um, mesquite on here to get a little more smoke rolling because uh, what's down in the bottom there has been on here for a while. But let's take a look at it and see how she's doing. Oh yeah, coming along. Look at that, beautiful. So we're just gonna take this stuff and start to blend it around, I think a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect.
Boy, this held this wall really held up over here, didn't it? Although this cheese is not totally melted yet, so. <laughs> Looking good. I'm just gonna stir this in here and cover it back up. Hopefully got a little smoke in there already. And we're gonna continue to let this just sit and soak up that smoke. Got some stretch in here from that Colby Jack. Nice. We are at the hour mark here for the queso. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, get some smoke on there, I think. Let's see how it stirs. That's pretty good. But it's a little bit thick, I think. Get that smoke in there. So we're gonna add a secret weapon. Bun up. Just a little should do. Yeah. I don't know if I said this earlier, but it's trash day here in my neighborhood, so that's what that was going by. Yes, sir. -y. Look at that. Yum. Let's give that a little bit of a taste here. Oh, Lord of Mercy. Oh, oh that's good. If you've seen my bone stock video, my uh, beef bone stock video, you heard me say this already, but this really is uh, God's honest truth, y'all. If you want to improve your cooking, start cooking with booze. And look who has come out to enjoy the show. Get ready for this, I'm serious. Ooh. Caitlin's here. She has appropriately brought supplies. <laughs> Give that a whirl. Y'all are really hungry. That. How's that? Oh, oh. <laughs> She's transfixed, y'all. That's next level. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? That's super duper good. So good. Back in for round two. Oh, that's for me. Go for it. It's hot. Oh, man. Woo, son. I'm gonna put not something because I'm planning on leaving this here for just a little while longer. I'll put some more beer in here and loosen it too much because some of this is gonna steam off here and we'll just be left with the good flavor. I right, y'all, we'll check back in in a little bit. It has been two hours since we put this queso on, and I think it's probably about ready so got this sheen over we've been coming out and stirring it as you saw every half an hour and it's got a wonderful dark smoke color to it and I'm gonna taste it here but I'm pretty sure that this is ready to go what I'm gonna do with it y'all is I'm gonna take it inside and if you're taking this to a party like I am stick it into a crock pot and just you can let it cool in that crock pot but then before you head out, or uh, or if you want, you can do what I'm probably going to do. Just put the crock pot on low and let it sit on that low for the remainder of the time. I think there's probably plenty of smoke in this, but I'm going to test that right now and see. Smell. I wish you could smell. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. Yep. Plenty of smoke in there. No problemo. Mmm. That mesquite and hickory work well together. There's enough pepper in there. There's a tiny bit of heat on it. That Rotel hot, I would say it's not really very hot at all, but um, there's a tiny bit of heat on it, so it should be in that little zone, pleasing to most people's taste. So, here's a little trick I taught myself uh, a while back. When you're moving one of these trays, get you a cookie sheet or a cutting board or something along those lines to get that off 
you are going to make a mess. Trust me. So I'm going to take this, I'm slide it under, get it on. Boom. Easy peasy. Whoa. And we're going to take this inside. Well, just like that, y'all, we are all done with this queso dip. But, well, I guess not totally done because we got to give a final taste over here. So, I think it's time. Uh, the dog, two cats, and now my wife are coming into the are coming into the kitchen here. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, take this over to a party. So I stuck it in this crock pot here to keep it warm. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's real good. Um, it is just what you want, you know. It's got just a little bit of heat behind it. It should be suitable and safe for all uh, for all tastes, I would think. Um, it's got that good Velveeta cheesiness to it, but it's got consistency. Um, and that smoke is so, so good in there. Uh, I just... I'm really happy with the way that turned out, and I think that you will be too. So, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you ring that bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. I like to try and do one every week or so. In addition to that, if you have any questions, uh, if anything was unclear, if you have any comments, make sure you leave them down uh, down below. I'm more than happy to, uh, uh, to uh, respond to those as I can do it. And uh, anything else that you might, uh, might have questions about, I'm really happy uh, to have you here. So thank you so much for joining. I really hope you give this a try. It was super easy, super fast. Uh, it only went for about two hours in total on the smoker. But this smoke, man, that's in there, and it's good. So uh, we'll see you all next time. And um, don't forget, if it's goalpost, it's good. See you next time. There's no food here. I don't know what, why you think there's food. I mean, there's no food for you.